I'm Inya Schumacher. I work for Primary Integration and I am a project manager. Essentially, I am given a scope of work by a client, then I run the commissioning process from beginning to end in critical environments. It can be industrial environments, so, but primarily we focus on mission critical facilities. I would have loved for someone to have told me the value of networking. I was not aware of how important it would be until a couple of years ago. So that is the one thing I would have liked to have known. The biggest challenge I face for myself is continuing education. It's not that, it's very supported by my company, but unfortunately finding time once you actually get into the field is very difficult. So you always want to find out what is new and the new technologies that are coming out, but it is challenging to find the time once you are working in this type of environment. It's a long story, but essentially it started out when I was a little girl. I've always been involved in taking things apart, and I've always enjoyed math and sciences. Um, I actually went into computer science to begin with in college and decided that it was not for me. I needed something a little more hands-on and a little more teamwork based. Um, and from there I decided I would move into mechanical engineering just from my hobbies and interests. It matched, and I ended up taking internships that were in the mission critical field in the HVAC design and I love the people I work with. I love the fellows that I worked with and even got a chance to work with some women and that was even better as well, so. I went to college at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. Um, I knew that, I was, like I said, I was going to go into computer science and I knew I wanted to stay in North Carolina. So it was NC State or UNC Charlotte for me and I am very happy with my decision. I met a lot of great people and from there, I've developed a lot of skill sets that have been helpful for my career. The mission critical environment has changed because it's becoming more dynamic. It's becoming an environment where you need to be able to come up with solutions that aren't just something to make a piece of equipment operate and work. You want to make it work efficiently and better than it did before. So that's what I'm seeing. It's been fortunate because I have also seen an influx of females in the field as well. And from that, you see them actually out in the environment, in the construction type environments. And I think just getting them out there so people can see that we are very capable of doing a job just as efficiently and just as the same quality as any other person is capable of doing. And having that ability to get them out there has been a positive influence in this environment. Um, my advice for women that are interested in this field is don't shy away from those types of environments. Own it. You have an edge that is makes you viable candidate for any position. And if you were given these types of opportunities to learn and get this type of education, you are just a viable much of a candidate as the next person sitting next to you. Doesn't matter if they're male or female. If you're interested, just walk in there and do your job. That's all you gotta do.